next two wines from our everyday Easter selection here. Um, this is a special occasion. So we're outside, we're thinking about spring barbecues, we're thinking about getting together again outside. And we're gonna start with Delamotte Rosé. Great pleasure to be drinking this wine. It's not cheap. It's about 50 pounds a bottle. Um, look at that beautiful color. And it's a strange thing to say, but talking about champagne as a food wine, we're so used to drinking it as a celebratory wine, and we should be celebrating, but I think we're gonna to show today that how well it goes with food. So we're gonna be drinking Delamotte Champagne. This is the Rosé. It's Pinot Noir and Chardonnay vinified together, which is quite unusual. Amazing color. Um, and real depth of flavor. I mean, the bubbles are, are beautifully balanced. The acidity's there, but there's definitely, it, it's crying out for some food. And Justin's gonna be cooking. Uh, we're gonna have some uh, chalk stream trout with this and then after that in our celebratory al fresco lunch we have the inzolio di cinghiali uh, that translates as the pride of the wild boar i'm not quite sure what that means but um, uh, the wine tastes really good it's from maremma which is the south western corner of tuscany uh, this is from tenuta di Pisano. A uh, very aristocratic estate, and um, it has Merlot, uh, Syrah, um, lots of plenty of Syrah in there, and a little bit of Cabernet Franc. It's, a, it's got lovely herbal notes. Um, it's it's very sweet, ripe fruit, great acidity. Um, we're going to be serving that with some grilled lamb on the barbecue. Um, for our al fresco lunch, we're starting with a sort of lightly smoked sea trout. Is that right on the barbecue? Yes. What are you going to serve yeah. it with, Justin? So we've got uh, beautiful sea trout. Uh, sorry, uh, river trout, isn't it? Chalk sea trout, trout. Uh, from Romsey. Uh, beautiful bit of fish. Uh, we've just seasoned it with salt and sugar, both sides. Left it for an hour, and that's just going to firm it up and stop it falling apart on the barbecue. Got a little bit of sorrel to go through with potato salad that we're going to make with some lovely Jersey Royals. Probably my favourite cooking potato. We're going to pop. We're going to pop those in a little pot. This is a little hack just to clean them instead of scrubbing them all individually. In a pot, a little bit bigger than you need. A little bit of water, but not too much. Just enough so that it can move around. Move that out of the way. And we're going to use a clean scourer. We've got a new one, but obviously just no soap. Just nice abrasive. Just going to rub that round in there. Repeatedly. For a couple of minutes. We'll change the water. So you can see they're pretty much clean with very little effort. There's still probably going to be a little bit of grit in that pan. So we're just going to take those clean potatoes, cold water, just to cover, no more, and then we'll pop those on the stove, we'll put a little bit of salt in there, keep those for 20 minutes or so. Our selection for our Easter lunch or our Easter al fresco dinner maybe on barbecue, we've gone for a really eclectic combination here, but it's all based around things that are great in season. Um, we've, we're touching on a few different countries. Uh, we're starting with a beautiful butterfly leg of Welsh lamb here. Uh, we're gonna match it with some, these are calcots. Uh, basically somewhere between a leek and a, and a spring onion. Yeah, like that. Yep. Which um, in Barcelona and in the Catalan region they grill on the barbecue, so we're gonna barbecue those. And then in here, we've got some, what are called Carlin peas. And these are a speciality from England that I was introduced to by a friend of mine called Lawrence. Um, I'd never encountered them before. They're like an English chip. So we've got <coughs> lamb, 
Cal Cotts, Carl and Peas, and then Salsa Verde, Justin. Yeah. So in here we've got some finely diced shallots, some finely diced cap uh, capers, and some finely diced gherkins. We've just used the little cornichons, mini ones. We can use uh, big ones if that's what you can get hold of. So that's going to go in the bowl. Probably about two teaspoons of each for the amount we're making. In here we've got a whole bunch of chopped parsley uh, and a third of a bunch of chopped mint. All gonna go in. Gonna mess up Clive's mustard now. About a, a good teaspoon of mustard. A splash of vinegar, just for a little more astringency. You can put anchovies in. We're gonna not put them in on this occasion. Anchovy and lamb, great together. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're going to omit them this time and then a really good glug of olive oil, really nice extra virgin olive oil. Give that a good stir up. So it's, once you've got all your herbs and everything chopped, it's quite an easy sauce to make. Okay, so we're enjoying the Delamotte Rosé Champagne and uh, we, our lamb is grilling. Uh, the calcots are on. We just need to finish off the sea trout, uh, sorry, the river trout, the chalk stream river trout. Yes, we did. So here we go. I'm going to take the trout, so our cured trout, we'll just put it on a little bit of brown paper or grease free paper. We're just going to pop it on this side, as soon as you can see all the heat's over this side, so we just want a little bit of smoke, which we're going to get from our grilling meat juices. The lamb, we're just going to pop up there to rest. Those will move on there to rest as well. And then we're just going to close the lid, give that five minutes, be a bit warm, a little bit smoky, and that should finish off the, sea, uh, the chalk stream trout perfectly. Okay, so we're gonna start with the trout. You can see our lamb is resting beautifully, just there. The trout we've just turned over. You can see it's just starting to cook, so it's just a little bit warm, but very much raw in the center. So that should be great. And so sorrel, delicious herb, easy to grow, very citrusy. It's got a very lemony zing. If you cook it or, or leave it in warmth too long, it goes brown. So we're just gonna very finely shred it. We'll hold a little back for garnish. These are our cooked Jersey Royals. We did season the water, but just for a little extra, little salt and pepper. Jersey Royal sorrel, little bit of sour cream. Not too much. And that's it. Dressed while they're still warm. Give it a little toss. And have a look. Okay, sorrel and potatoes. Fantastic. And then you'll be able to see our chalk stream trout. Finally managed to get the name right. Just falling apart. Just cooked. Still a little bite to it. That's gonna go on top. Comes down to the big taste test now. Um, quite rich. But the wine, a perfect match for it. It's a really luxurious combination. Perfect for this time of year and delicious. Uh, we've got the barbecue lamb, it's rested in the barbecue so it's just stayed nice and warm. The cold cut onions, a nice little bit of char on there, but nice and soft. Salsa verde and our lovely English peas. So we're just gonna slice the lamb, beautifully cooked five. We're gonna slice it against the grain. Nice thick slices, let's not wussy out. Give that tiny little season and then we'll give what they say a post marinade ah, so we'll like give that. that a little dollop that's going to mingle with the meat juices while we plate up everything else we've got our calcot onions our carlin peas which are actually delicious they they have the texture of chickpeas but the taste of an english pea uh, not anything i've seen before but I'll definitely be looking for. I'm gonna mix that with a bit of salsa verde. Just kind of marry the whole thing together. These are room temp, you can have them warm or cold. I think it'd be equally delicious. 
put some lamb slices on there. A little bit of um, juice. Tiny bit more salsa verde because it'd be rude not to. There we go. Spring lamb, Carl in the, uh, peas and calca onions. Uh, I'm really enjoying the Inzolio de Cingari from Bizerno. As we said, Syrah, Merlot, a bit of Cabernet Franc, the Marema right down south southwest Tuscany. Uh, for a long time it was a swamp. Uh, and, and sort of only good for cattle rearing. Now it is producing some fantastic wines. This is about £23 a bottle. And here we are at Easter. And of course we should be having lamb. So just to confirm that this is a delicious combination, I better try it. <laughs> uh, it works really well, you'd be surprised to hear. <laughs>